unwashed, unwanted. Devil's angels, the way out wild ones, grabbing at all sensations with their mamas. The takers, the destroyers, terrorists to be feared.
came so close after seven long years to Miss Crow by a hair like I did in Vegas. It's no wonder I'm streaking my eyeliner. Just how much is a woman supposed to take? I need to pull myself together. So the lesbian bodybuilder beats me up, takes my car, and my wife runs off with her. Had the vet do an autopsy? I'm uh, sure Very not. crushing. Chipper had eaten yeah, my pieces. The only copy I had printed. Oh, gave my whole inheritance to the Scientologist when I was grief stricken. Oh, like that. Even though I think you were sick. I'm exactly where I belong if I'm going to succumb to disgusting levels of self pity. I got to purge these bugs from my brain. Excuse me, I need a little perspective. This is okay, but it's only a temporary solution. Mind altering ain't gonna help. Hey, you ain't supposed to feel like that till tomorrow morning. What'll it be? Could you please unplug my tragic heart and throw it to the nearest drift of wild dog so I can have a tranquil and serene life? How about a nice frothy dark beer? Sorry, yeah, whatever. Okay. This was the first album Crow ever stole from me. What a ruthless act of fate to hear it now. Overcome with emotion. This is everything that I have in my life. All the stuff that ties me to the crow, spark plug you gave me at the orphanage, baby pictures as wild old mama gave me. All this stupid junk I thought would give me luck in finding the bastard. It's time to write a letter. I ain't got no ink besides lipstick and blood. Somehow it's very fitting. I was put on this world with a heart full of ferocious love, like a motor that will not ever stop until it finds the other half of my soul and crow. And since it don't look like I'm ever going to be with the bastard again, I'm going up in a blaze of protest. You hear me, America? I'm going up like a monk. I'm burning for you, America. All the Republican crimes and the cover-ups are stealing purpose of the news by the military industrial complex and the mother loving helmet law in California. This is my fiery farewell to hell, suckers. Adios. Wait, I know that tattoo. Winter Steel? Well, I'll be damned. It's her. Don't try to stop me, mister. Hey, how'd you know my name? Well, I'm a private detective hired to look for you by David Crow Dickerson. Come with me, and I'll take you to him right now. I'm overwhelmed. Whoa. She fainted. I'd better get her to crow. Poodle conspiracy only to be accused of terrorism. Stand by for pies. Hey, look who it is. Is the crime clown? Yes, the crime clown. 
Once an ordinary children's entertainer, a brush with death in a liquor store, and the following media coverage transforms Lassio Fribbish into the scorch of evil and juggler for justice, the crime clown. But we're not terrorists. We're, we're the specialists. Sounds good enough for me. Here, now, taste my vengeance. tiny sonic propulsion unit. It'll take us to Mach 2 speeds. However, the velocity may tear us apart. We've got to chance it. Can our heroes survive? Where will they end up? Can they stop? Don't you dare miss the party crashers. Mind altering ain't gonna help. C'est bête, il y a ma balle qui est tombée. Tu peux aller me la chercher Oh si.
just outside Cleveland in the 70s. This guy picks up a hitchhiker who says he lives on Hill Street. So the guy drives there and the hitchhiker's really quiet the whole way. But when they get there, the guy looks around and the hitchhiker is gone. So he goes up to the front door and knocks. Oh yes, says the woman who answers the door. That's the ghost of my son. He was run over on that same stretch of highway. Exactly. Ten years ago. Tonight. Well, I'll be damned. saw Dog Boy face with the brutal environment of Podunk's <laughs> diner. Well, she sure is a clumsy bitch. While waiting for Rondi to get off work, Dog Boy has caught the eye of a certain Dr. Shrinkman. Classic symptoms. Uh, I wasn't doing anything, honest. I'm very interested in your condition. Who are you, anyway? I'm Shrinkman. Dr. Shrinkman. I think we're about ready to begin. What I want you to do is watch the screen in front of you. We're going to show you a series of pictures. And with each image, I want you to tell me the first thing that comes into your mind. Sounds fun, like a game or something. Let's proceed. Hot dog. A chase. Lick. Berry. I don't know. Mmm. That was very good. Now I'd like to try something a little different. We're gonna put you into a state of light hypnotic sleep. Will it hurt? Oh, no, not at all. I think you might find it quite relaxing. Are you ready? All right. Let's go. Watch the screen and relax. Relax. Your eyelids are getting heavy. You are getting sleepy, sleepy. When I count to three, you will be asleep. But you will hear every word I say and respond to all of my questions. One, two, three. Now then. When did you first become aware of your fixation on dog-like behavior? I... It was my heart. My heart was all messed up. Just as I thought. In medical terms? Well, well it's, it's... It's all messed up. up. It's <laughs> all messed up. It's all messed up. So, you felt broken-hearted. How did this affect your relationship with women? I... I just want to meet a nice girl. A girl who will accept me for what I really am. And what exactly are you? Um, I guess I'm a dog boy. <laughs> no, 
Pronto! When I count to three, you will wake up feeling relaxed and refreshed. One, two, three. How did I do? Oh, you did just fine. But your problem is a lot deeper rooted than I initially thought. If we're going to cure you of this fixation of yours, it's going to require hours and hours of psychiatric evaluation and counseling. It could take years. It's a monumental task, but I know we can do it. We'll face it together. Gee, that sounds good, Doctor. I feel better already. Ow! Don't you ever try anything like that again. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I must have got carried away. That's disgusting. I've got dog cooties. Once again, Dog Boy finds himself alone, like a lost, lonely sheep wandering through the wilderness. Who will he turn to? I've never even heard of this Jerry guy. Feel stomach-churning nausea when you hear Jerry's misleading and malevolent message. Cure what is disease. Hear Dog Boy's righteous response to Jerry when they finally come face to face. Be there. <laughs> Well, now that you've walked along the cutting edge of animation, join us now for an undisputed classic in the world of cartooning, Speed Racer, coming up next, so don't go away.